saw you staring across the room. If you just started recording in GarageBand, mixing may still be a bit of a mystery to you. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a great acoustic guitar sound in your mix using only GarageBand and the Wave Silver bundle. I usually start with EQ and use the high pass filter to cut some of the low end. I start at around 75 Hz. This of course depends on the guitar sound. If it's still boomy for the track, I will cut a bit more. Or I may notch out a bit in the low mid range if the guitar sounds muddy, somewhere around 200 or so. I also may boost or cut in the high mid to high frequencies. For the guitar sound in this track, here are the EQ settings that work best. Next, I use the Renaissance Axe Compressor. This compressor is designed specifically for guitar. It is really easy to adjust. Threshold adjusts how much you want to compress. Attack adjusts how fast you want the compressor to kick in. And Gain adjusts the overall output. Here are the settings that I used. Remember, we want the guitar to sound good in the entire mix. So when making changes to the EQ, compressor, or any of the plugins, it is better to have all of the instruments and vocals playing. If you solo it and make changes to EQ and compression, it's almost guaranteed to sound different when you bring the other instruments and vocals back in. Next is reverb and delay, or echo. With these effects, I typically like to set them up on an auxiliary bus. However, GarageBand does not have auxiliary buses that third-party plugins can be used on. So you have two choices. You can put the reverb or delay on the track itself and adjust how much dry versus wet sound you want on the plugin, or you have to use the master reverb and master echo that GarageBand offers. However, if you open the same GarageBand file in Logic, you have access to change the reverb and delay to anything you want on the aux channel. With the variety of different guitars, microphones, mic preamps, and rooms that you may record in, all guitar recordings will be a little different and need slightly different processing in the mix. The settings I showed you here will get you very close. You will just need to tweak them a little bit to fit your music. <laughs> 